Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream. We do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we're going to be starting our Majora's Mask playthrough. This is going to be a 100% playthrough of Majora's Mask. Um, I hope there are a couple of heart pieces that are very difficult to get, especially for me because I ain't got no aim. <laughs> but that's the goal, okay? That's the goal is we're going to try to get 100% for this Majora's Mask playthrough. And as we play through it, I am going to be analyzing the game and showing you guys why I believe that Majora's Mask is the Zelda with the best story. Gonna get the game going. I have a new controller. It's pastel pink. It's beautiful. It's on. Let's do set. <coughs> okay. So, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna watch both opening cutscenes. All right, let me get the game to show up. Here we go. Let's watch them together. Okay, so that's the first opening cut scene. We're not going to press start because we're going to let the other one play.
welcome to Majora's Mask. Those opening cutscenes show you so much when you know it ends up happening in the game. Now, before we get started, I want to talk just a little bit about Majora's Mask. So I'm going to turn the volume on the game down just a little bit. It's just in the background. Okay. All right. So this game taught me that constraint can generate an amazing amount of creativity. So what really is Majora's Mask? Majora's Mask is an asset flip of Ocarina of Time, where they wanted to get more out of the engine that they made for Ocarina of Time, and so they created Majora's Mask. Now, they only have so much space, space on an N64 cartridge, and there was only so much time to make this game before the next console, the the um, the Wii, no, the GameCube came out. Okay. So, here's the timeline. Ocarina of Time is released in November 1998, and it was in development for about two and a half years, just to give you a comparison. After that, there was a lot of debate about what exactly the next game was going to be, and um, a lot of like internal shuffling, assigning people off of other projects onto Majora's Mask and some things like that. So once they got around to like, okay, this is Majora's Mask, they only had about a year of development time. And Majora's Mask ended up being released in April 2000. And the GameCube came out the very next year in September 2001. So they couldn't have pushed it back and spent more time on it even if they wanted to do, because there was only this small window to release the game before they'd have to start working on whatever the GameCube Zelda was going to be that turned out to be Wind Waker. Okay. Now, the reception for this game was a very mixed bag, as you can imagine, since it was not only rushed, um, involved a lot of crunch on the de development team, but it followed right after the massive smash hit that was Ocarina of Time. But the reason that I want to show you this game and play through it and try to get 100% on it is because I believe wholeheartedly that this game is the best story a Zelda game has ever told. And it's because they knew what the constraints were and they executed exactly what they could execute within those constraints. Now, a little bit later, we'll talk about why specifically the haters for this game hated it so much. <laughs> we'll talk about that when we get to the part where it makes sense. Okay. For now, we're just going to start the game. Okay. So we're going to switch back to it. We're going to turn our audio back up. Y'all tell me if the game is too loud or too quiet. It looks like it's about right, but it, it might be too quiet. So y'all let me know. All right. And we're going to be Link because I always make myself Link. Um, I have the Majora's Mess manga. It's very fun. Oh, I've never read the, the manga, but I would imagine it would be really good considering how good the story in this game is. You could do a really amazing uh, manga adaptation. Game audio is good, I think. Okay, fabulous. All right, we're going to be Link. <coughs> this is our file. Okay. Three hearts, zero masks. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. a friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Okay, Navi. That was Navi's sound. This is a direct sequel from Ocarina of Time. Oh, yes, Koneko, please do share the photos in Discord. I would love to see them. I'll remind you.
That was rude. You two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tail. What will we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. Oh, uh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Oh shit. This is it. Welcome. Welcome to Majora's Mask. Uh, okay. Cool deal. Let's, uh, we, we can chop, we can chop bushes. Just like we have in other games. Get some rupees. Um, so we have lost Navi. All right, we have lost Navi. Uh, that happened, you know, she left at the end of, um, Ocarina of Time. And this is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. So, uh, not only have we lost Navi now, but Skull Kid, <laughs> Skull Kid also from Ocarina of Time, has come and taken Epona away. And, um, yep, so we're, we're chasing him. Now, interesting thing in this second little area, these bushes run away, okay? They run away from you. And, um, oh, I didn't chop very many of them. That's okay. Okay, so the bushes run away from you, and it's very interesting because... It's kind of like slowly taking us into a state of unreality. But we're gonna we're gonna keep going because we need to find Epona. Okay. Alright. Um This is very interesting. Lots of glyphs. <clears throat> Found him, but where's Epona? What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, boo hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool. Okay, this is scary. Oh shit. It's the giantest Deku you ever saw. And we went up his nose. Mm. 
<clears throat> Link's scream is so scary there. Hee <laughs> hee! Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here, looking that way forever. Sis! Welp. <clears throat> you trap here with me, girl. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid! Wait for me! I'm still here! Tail! You can't leave without me! You! I wasn't dealing with you! I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother! Well, don't just sit there, Deku Boy. Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please! Come on! A helpless little girl is asking you. So hurry up! Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child can be alright on his own. Originally, Skull, face, skull, skull Kid's face was just a black orb, and they changed it to straw-like texture to avoid unfortunate connotations. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, so um, this is our new body. Yes, the animations in this game are amazing, okay? Um, I love we, that they changed. I didn't point this out when we were first doing it, but when you Link jumps, it's not the same jump over and over again like it was in Ocarina of Time, so a little improvement there. Really interesting thing about this room. So as we're going farther and farther into this new crazy world we're about to enter. We have been forced to change our body. And this light here, we're gonna look up. It's like a circus. It's like, it's like a, it's like a circus, okay? So I find that very interesting. Um, we can get more rupees, but um, these bushes run away from us too. So yeah, there's a flower there, but we're gonna look at the flowers later. Rupee. There we go. Okay, so this little fairy girl that was just bullying us has um, has now needed needs our help. Apparently, she cannot punch the door to open it. I guess she is too light, but Deku Link is not. Okay, so we're gonna go through here. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind. So um, that stuff back there. I apologize. So take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please. I guess Link says yes. <coughs> Good, so then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all of that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press C up and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Yeah, they are named Tattletail. <laughs> They're named Tattletail. Okay, so now instead of Navi, who we were looking for, um, we, we don't, haven't found Navi and we have lost Epona and now our best friend is the person who was just bullying just us a moment ago. So this is going off great. Um, so if you climb on the flower, Tattle has something to tell you. Hey, if I call you, press C up right away. I can tell you're not very used to your Deku Scrub body yet. All right, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku Scrub while standing on a Deku flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower. Press A while flying to descend. Did I get all that? Yes, I got it. Yeah, they're Tattletail. They're Toad's Tattletail. One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. I just showed you guys that. That's what I just did. Okay, so we press A, we dive in. You can rotate the camera around while you're in the flower. And we gotta fly over here. Now the way these flowers work is you can fly away a certain radius from them. Um, and then you can't anymore. And you'll very, very slowly descend as you fly. But it's not really an amount of time to fly. It's really about the radius away from the flower that you can fly. I'll show you what I mean. So if you fly forward, 
be he's doing that, but you can like fly back and make it last longer. Now you'll still slowly descend, so you still need to like drop it like it's hot. Yeah, they're named after Tattletail. Okay, so we're gonna fly one more time over to this guy and open the chest. We got the Deku Nut. Okay, now we can we can bomb. We can drop them bombs. So we don't have to worry anymore. Okay, let's go into this flower and we can go around here. <clears throat> we don't want to fall into the void. We fly over to this last one. You can barely make it, but because it's based on radius, you can make it for sure. You're not going to just fly too long and then not make it. Press Z to talk to me. Okay, so we do that, and then we can see up for Tattle. There you go, see? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them, so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people, even if they're far away. Or, if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. Okay. Let's go check it out. Okay, so let's check, check. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Okay, so this Deku, poor Deku, he is um, not alive, obviously. He's not talking to us. I want us to remember this Deku as we play through this game, okay? But he's not going to come back until the end. Let's proceed. Now we go upside down. Okay. Turn around. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Koneko, for sure. Um, and I think it's true. Okay, this, we are now in this world. Okay. Um, something about the Deku body that I would like to show is that you can drown, but it really doesn't hurt you too much. So when you get in the water, you hop, hop, hop a certain number of times and you do the spin. And if you are still in the water, then you just fall and drown, okay? Wood cannot swim and we're made of wood. We're gonna go up here up this ramp instead. Okay. And uh, let's go out the store, or not. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Creepy dude. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am, at a loss, and now I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I've been following you. Okay, so this is our third resident from Hyrule, who has now come to Termina. So we had Skull Kid, Link, and the Happy Mask Salesman. They came from Hyrule to Termina. For now, I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you get me back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It's not a simple task. Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. 
I'm sure you'll find it. Right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Okay, so this is the Happy Mask Salesman. And now, in addition to finding Navi, our personal quest, we have a quest from him. Bring him back his mask within three days. Dawn of the first day, we have 72 hours. And here we are in Clocktown. This looks familiar from the opening cutscene. It gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy won't know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, that Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Okay, so... Paddle has now told us we need to go find the Great Fairy in the North. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> okay. Ah. Sorry, I'm still so congested. Next week, hopefully, and then all the voices will sound right. <laughs> Instead of <laughs> sounding just like congested versions of what I'm doing for these voices. Okay. Ah, my poor nose. All right. All right, so this right here is South Clocktown. Um... This doggy, he is very angry at us. He does not like Deku's, you racist motherfucker. Okay, but well let's talk to some peoples. Who's this? Oh, deposit mail here. ka -ching! Okay, we don't have any mail. Um, yes, okay. But who are you? Hey, leave me the fuck alone, Mr. Dog. Oh, you made him run away, purple hair man. Okay. Anyways, what you got to say? Hey, apprentice! Don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. Just wait until you try the treasure hunt game as the Goron. Oh, welcome in, Moo Moo Cow. Welcome in. We're going to get there. Don't you worry. This poster is an eyesore. What a sorry collection of cowards. Yeah. Okay. Yes, she does. She charges you different and you get different prize. Um, hey, aren't you going to the Great Fairy Shrine near the North Gate? Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. Girl, I know. Okay, so that's basically all there is in South Clocktown. There's these builder guys that are working on building something. Um, very interesting. What you guys to say, sir? No, not spin. I want to talk to you. Tch, the Brock's... Uh, is Brock working tonight? I wonder if that'll get finished. Oh, finished. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to go to North Clocktown where the Great Fairy is. So let's go north. <clears throat> Doggy reminds me of a horse I know. She dislikes white horses. She's a white horse herself. She's not smart. What? Oh my God. She's got internalized whiteophobia. <laughs> okay, you can um, do these bushes for more monies. They run from you too though, but I can catch them much better with my spin than I could with my sword, as you can see. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is let's talk to this man. What is this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle. I think that I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though I am already age 35. So old. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I agree, Tingle. Strong millennial energy. I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand there waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yes, we will. We're going to buy a Clocktown map. Yippee! We got the map of Clocktown. Okay, so now we can know what the fuck is going on and where we are. Well, call again. Tingle, tingle, coolimpa. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Okay, okay, sir, don't worry. I won't steal your words. 
It's because the one of the white horses is the biggest meanie who doesn't like anyone. Oh, and so they decided all white horses suck. I understand. I mean, when you're not very smart, I understand. You didn't call him, you shot him down violent. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Not this time. But we but there we go. Oh no, the great fairy! Shit. Uh that's not very great. That's many little fairies. What is happening? Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered into pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Okay. All right. Um, so remember Tattle was like, uh, the great fairy's no match for Skull Kid? Well, Tattle was wrong. Um, apparently Skull Kid shattered the great fairy. And now we have to go find, um, the great piece of the great fairy. Okay. So we are going to do that. Oh, hello. What's up, sir? I'm currently on the job. If I stop to talk, it will disrupt my schedule. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> most popular place for ladies to have spa weekends. Yes. Oh my God. I would so have a spa weekend at the fairy fountain. That sounds like so much fun. Okay. So during the daytime, our stray fairy is over here in the laundry pool. At nighttime, the stray fairy is in uh, East Clock Town. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. And there, there it is. Okay, there it is. Remember, we can hop across water. Boop. Please hear my plea. The masked skull kid has broken me apart and shattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Okay, so if you find the fairy first, you still know what to do. All right, well, we're going to go back and give this to the fairy. I like the little fairy faces. I know, right? The little fairy pieces with their little faces. They're so cute. It's so cute. Um... So angry horse kicked the silly horse, and silly horse now dislikes all the white horses. <laughs> I understand, you know, I I, I understand. <laughs> uh, that poor horse, that poor horse. Okay. So this is North Clock Town, by the way. Um, there's one person to talk to here. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Arr. Okay, so don't mess with Jim. And there's also a soldier here. Wait a moment, Deku Scrub. Have you some errand in the mountains? This is dangerous to go outside the town walls, so I cannot allow a child like you to go out alone. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, until you're old enough to carry a weapon, you cannot pass through here without being accompanied by an adult. Okay. I am the hero of time, sir. I just did all of these things, and you're going to tell me this? That's fucking ridiculous, but whatever. Um, actually, before we run out of time to do this, we're going to go over to East Clock Town. Let's spin. We're gonna go over to East Clock Town. Um, <clears throat> and see what's going on over here. I love how dedicated the guards are to doing their job. Yes, the guards as well as the postman, very, very dedicated peoples. Okay, we're gonna run up here. This is the mayor's So, let's go talk to the mayor. Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on your right is the drawing room, and it's also Madame Aroma's office. Okay, so let's go over here. Oh, open. Okay, um... This looks intense. Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Well, um... You coward, do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. Sir, have you looked up lately? The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be canceled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Uh, mm. Are you serious, Muto? It seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time, every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? 
Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Uh... If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vison. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dotour? Uh, let's not bring my wife into this. Okay, so the mayor has a very important decision to make. Does he order evacuation or do people stay? Uh, it is not clear, of course, to the mayor what should happen. He's getting a lot of feedback from his townspeople. So let's go see about Madame Aroma. So this is his wife. Um, oh dear, are you a student of Deku Elementary? Where's your teacher? You shouldn't be here. Field trips go next door. Tell your teacher that. Okay. Are the Finns damp lately? Oh, that's a greeting used among us, Sora. Where's your mama, Sunny? Huh? You can't come here by yourself. Why aren't you a big boy? Yeah, I'm a big boy. Okay. Um, so Madame Roma doesn't seem to have a strong opinion on that. We didn't get here early enough to see it, but if you get here early enough, you will find out that um, there is supposed to be a show from the Indiegogos, the Zora Band, that that Zora there was representing that's been canceled. So Madame Aroma is already canceling things in regards to the carnival. So <clears throat> that's Madame Aroma's opinion. What are you doing? Aren't you going to take this ferry to the shrine near the North Gate? Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. I know, Tattle. I know. Okay. Well, let's go do that. Let's go to North Clocktail. <clears throat> All right. We're going to go up here, back to the Stray Fairy, or sorry, to the Fairy Fountain, and return the Stray Fairy. A giant woman. Tattle, and you young one of the altered shape, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that mass child was helping me, and I grew careless. So the mass child is Skull Kid. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Now I'm magic. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Ooh. You've been granted magic power in your current form. Press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press the whole B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with the magic jars and potions. Okay, so we got some magic. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Thanks, big lady. All right. So, we now have magic powers. What can we do with these magic powers? We can blow bubbles. But before we blow any bubbles, there's something else that we want to do during these, this first day. We're gonna dive into this flower and we are going to go over here. Okay, time to visit this hole. Whee! Now I am playing the original N64 version on an emulator. Um, I'm not, I've not hooked up like an actual N64 because that's like a lot of freaking work. So I do have save states, which we will be using. So we're going to save and do a save state right here. How about it? Will the young one play? Uh, I'll play. <laughs> All right, then use this Deku flower and have fun. Okay. 
if the time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you'll get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down below just once, it's over. The best time for today's game is 1.15. Get all the rupees faster than that. Okay, burrow into the Deku flower. The game begins the moment you jump out. Okay, so here we go. This is the Deku Scrub Playground. Um, it is a mini game you can play every single day. It is very fucking hard. Uh, so we're gonna see if I can do it. If you do it every day properly, you win a piece of heart. Oh my God, get in the fucking flower. All right, so I'm gonna be quiet while I do this because it's difficult. I fucked it up. I should have popped out when he was high. But we have the save state. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Okay. Um, Because it might take me a few tries on these, here's what we're going to do. Keep you guys entertained while I'm doing this over and over. <laughs> we're going to play some music from the year 2000 since this game came out in 2000. Uh, for YouTube, I will like skip this until the a person that the session that I actually get it or um, I'll do a speed up or something like that. But for you guys watching live on Twitch, um, let's play some 2000s music. Okay. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, oops, I did it again. I play with your heart. Okay, I'm gonna pause the music. Um, <clears throat> won't this destroy the Majora's Mask ASMR? I don't know. Do you like the Majora's Mask sounds? Um, because we're gonna do this two more times, of course, and that was the easiest one. <laughs> she went full now, V. Didn't give specific or helpful advice. It's true. <laughs> she tried to give advice during this, but like, I don't. I don't always do the C up when it's time to talk to Tattle. Amazing, it's a new record. Take this. Purple rupee, so we got 50 rupees, fantabulous. Um, I'll record this time. So what's your name, young one? Hmm, Link? That's a strange name for a Deku scrub. If you can, come by again tomorrow. Okay, so he tells you come by again tomorrow, so you can come by again tomorrow. <coughs> <clears throat> Nothing's less satisfying than having 99 rupees and 50 are just wasted. I know, fucking right. So right. Okay, it's nighttime now. It's nighttime. Ooh, that's a piece of heart. Wow. Okay, so there is um, something that we can do next, um, but this game is all about time management. All right, this game is all about time management. So instead of um, doing the next thing that we're supposed to do, because it's just not a good use of our time, 
we are instead going to farm for some rupees. We're going to instead farm for some rupees because we want to um, max out our rupees. Okay. Wait, who's this guy? I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Um, I don't believe you, sir. I don't believe you. You look super sus. He looks really sussy wussy, doesn't he? I think he looks super sussy wussy. <clears throat> yeah, we're not we're not gonna let that happen. Moo Moo, we're not gonna let that happen. We are we're not gonna lose rupees. So for this game, the way these first three days function is kind of like a tutorial, right? So they give you time to get acquainted with all the residents of Clocktown and get used to the Deku body and understanding the time management element of this game. And as you can see in the bottom of the screen, time is passing. It's 10 p.m. now on the first night. And we have those three days to get the Happy Mask Salesman's mask back, as well as our precious item that was stolen, the ocarina. Okay. So that's our item that was stolen. Um, Skulkid also stole our horse, but that is not what we're tasked with getting back at the moment. To get our body back, we need the ocarina. So that's what we're trying to do. Now we're maxed out on rupees, but there's a scene I want to show here. So we're just going to chill for a second. We're just going to chill for a second. Moo Moo, what's your favorite um, Zelda? What's your favorite Zelda game? You obviously know a lot about Zelda, so I'm really curious. What's your favorite one? Um, in addition to this one, I also really, really like um, Twilight Princess. Um, <clears throat> I like Ocarina of Time. I'll tell you a secret. I'll tell you a secret. I never beat Ocarina of Time. Ooh, who's that? I really hated Jobby Jobby's Belly Dungeon. Oh shit. Oh no! Ouch, watch out! Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back! Oh no. Oh shit. Um, sir! 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 Drop it! Oh, I'm not trying to talk to you, Jim. Jim, stop! Sir! Sir! Oh my god, he is immune to Deku. Deku immunity, that's not fair. And the soldier just fucking lets him go. Do your job, okay? Do your job. Do your job. Cops here, just as useless as in real life. Ugh. Oh my, and I thought we would finally be able to stock bomb bags in our store. What a shame. Okay. So that's interesting. Well, that's what happens at midnight. <laughs> um, he's immune to Deku, so we'll have to figure out a different way to deal with uh, with that thief. It feels mean towards Ocarina not to favor it. Okay, so I do like Ocarina of Time. It's a good game, but I've never beat it. I'll tell you why. I've never beat it. Because. Uh, because. I hated Jabba Jabba's Belly. I thought it was like a, the most terrible dungeon I've... And then you get Adult Link. And then eventually there's a water temple. So we already did like a stupid, the, the, the Jabu Jabu's belly is like a water temple-ish. And there's an actual water temple. And I got like halfway through that temple and then I was like, fuck this game. But then of course Majora's Mask came out and I beat Majora's Mask. I thought it was amazing. <clears throat> oh, I know. Oh, I know. But you know what? The swimming in this game is very fun. The swimming in this game is very fun. So it's okay. I, and I, I, I know this game very well. So I don't know, maybe if we like this, I can do an Ocarina of Time stream um, where I actually beat the game for the first time. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I was also a kid when these games came out, so like it's a little different as a kid. Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rubies? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any, nothing, nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So what'll it be? Okay, we're in a deposit. Yeah, the banker has a moo moo cow. Um, this K 
character also's uh, gender changes from version to version. I think it's like this character is intended to be a woman in the Japanese version and a man in the English version. I can't remember exactly. I can't remember exactly. Um, but because Japan is different in regards to the their first person pronouns, like that's where it comes from. Seriously? That's a lot, a lot, a lot. So little guy, what's your name? Mm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks and it's not going to hurt. Okay. There. Now I'll know you when I see you. All right, little guy. Now I've got a total of 99 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. 99 rupees, but a bitch ain't one. Yeah, the little moo cows are so cute. Everybody's got the little moo moo cows. Oh, let's show off the rest of this area. Okay. So this is West Clocktown. Let's talk to this man. What's with you? You're wearing a weird hat for a Deku. Did you come to town to play? I bet nobody will play with you, right? Yeah, even the dog won't play with me. Even the dog won't play with me. The adults are all busy getting ready for the carnival. The old astronomer at the observatory outside town is the only one who will speak, who will spend any time playing with us kids. We bombers have our hideout at the observatory. You have to take a secret route to get it. Oh, don't be telling Jim in North Clocktown that I told you that. Okay, so he's a bomber, and we're not supposed to tell Jim that we know about that. Don't bother us. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. This is the lottery shop. We can't get in there at night, and I never do the lottery in this game anyways. But that's what that is, and you can earn rupees and shit. This right here is the post office, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can come here and see the postman. Um, but you can also see him on his roots. This <clears throat> is the swordsman's school. This man. This is a training center for learning the sacred way of the sword. It is no place for children. Okay. So we can't do anything as a Deku scrub here. We have to get our old body back. Also, in West Clocktown, we've got another guard that goes out the west. You see, he still, he won't let us go. And then on this side of the stairs, we've got a couple places. This is um, <clears throat> the bomb shop. Now you can get a small bomb bag. Talk to you. You can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. Um, so you can buy bombs, bomb shoes, or a regular bomb bag. There's no reason to buy the regular bomb bag because you can get the big bomb bag very quickly, okay? So don't waste your rupees. Come again. Okay. Who's this? Hello. Did you come to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry, I even brought it up. Okay, so he sells big bombs. He likes big bombs, <clears throat> and he won't lie. All right, this next shop right here. This is the trading post. So you can get a bunch of random stuff here. You can see we've got some potions. There's a fairy, the Hylian shield, um, Deku nuts, Deku sticks, and arrows. Welcome. Huh. Hey, you're just a Deku scrub kid. And then there's this guy. Yo, hey, baby. I'm a styling scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Um, shall we dance? No, we're not gonna dance. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back any time if you do decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? Yeah, tell me, man. Oh, yeah, now listen up. If you play that same strange song backwards, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move a half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. Okay, we're good. We don't even have our ocarina yet to play him a song. And then there's the banker that we talked to a minute ago. 
And then lastly, here, this is the curiosity shop. Um, it is not open in the wee hours of the morning, but um, you can do some fun stuff in here with like what you can sell. Okay, it's about to be morning. So we're gonna go back to North Clocktown. All right. All right, now we're gonna show off our bubble powers. So. Let's shoot down this balloon that Jim's been trying to do all day and all night. He's so confused. He's like, I can't believe someone shot it down, the fuck? Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. Weep Bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Oh, did I do this wrong? Because it's about to be dawn. No, it already is dawn on the second day. Okay, so now we have to find them. Um, so here's the first one. There we go. You caught me. There's only four left. Thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Thank you so much for the follow. Okay, since it's the second day, it's raining. It's always raining on the second day. Okay, the second day is sad. Oh, you caught me. Now there's only three left. Okay, so that's two of them. And the, so the reason why I didn't do this earlier is because then you only have a little bit of time. But if you wait until the beginning of the second day to start this, then um, it's no big. It's no big deal because you have all the way until the beginning of the third day. So here's the next one. Oh my God. Come here. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any mail. There we go. Oh, you caught me. Now there's only two left. <clears throat> oh, here's the jugglers. We haven't talked about this section of Clocktown yet. My, my. Funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny, funny. You're telling me, like, the rumors about the swamp to the south? Did you hear about the kidnapping? Oh, my, the kidnapping. Yep, but then the kid woke up. Get it, kid? Napping? Oh, I got a million of them. Oh, yes. Okay. This one. There's a kid up here uh, on this little eave, and he'll jump down if you come back through this door. Yeah, see, he jumped down. Now we got to catch him, too. There we go. Oh, you caught me. Now there's only one left. Okay, and the next one, I think... Wait, where's my map? I got rid of it somehow. Did I push the wrong button? How did I get rid of my map? I know I bought the map. There we go. Okay, the next kid is over here. Ugh. My gosh, I'm so ready to be over this congestion. All right, the next one is over here and we go up here. Now these guys can be kind of annoying to catch. I've been having a pretty easy time this time, but um, because they they have rubber band technology, like if you don't catch them in a corner, they really can just like run all around. And I've had situations before where they get stuck like behind the guard. Like they can go behind the guard. They can't leave, but they can go in the little bit of space on the map behind the guard. It's crazy. Oh, no way, you finally got me. Okay, so got all the bombers. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. I guess not. Once we let in some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, do we regret it. Sorry. So these guys don't like Dekus either. Just like the dog. But I'll teach you the code. Just like I promised. I can tell you only once though, so pay close attention. So he's not kidding. You gotta write down this code. It's different every save file. 
and you're not going to get it written down anywhere for you until just a little bit later. So you need to write it down for just a little bit of time. Then you have access to it later in the game where you don't have to remember it anymore. Are you ready? Okay. So our code is 53241. 53241. Okay, I'm writing it down. And the hideout is in East Clock Town. Okay. There we go. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the second day of the Deku Scrub Playground. Now that we've done that. So let's hop back in our flower and let's go do part two. In my opinion, the second one is probably the hardest one. Day two is probably the hardest day. So let's see what we can do. We're gonna save state again, um, just like we did for the first one in case it takes me like many, many, many tries, which might happen. Try setting a new record again today, young Link. Okay, so let's save state. Okay. <clears throat> One game is 10 rupees. I'll play. Oh no, we forgot to get more rupees. We forgot to get more rupees. Wait, okay, let's go back up. Let's go back up and get more rupees. <laughs> oops. Oops, oops. Get in there. Okay, let's go get some rupees from these bushes. See, now Tingle has a balloon. If you talk to Tingle before you get your magic, he'll just be on the ground. He won't have the balloon that you have to pop or anything. But after you get your magic, you gotta pop the balloon. Ah, oh, one shy. Okay, let's reload this area. <clears throat> now, the Deku Scrub Playground does close eventually. So, like, you can't go too late at night or they'll tell you that they're busy setting up for the next day. So, just for awareness. You do want to try to do this during the day, not wait until nighttime. Especially if you don't have, like, save states and things like that, like I'm using, to where um, you uh, well, might run out of time. Like, literally run out of time. Welcome back, Koneko! What did you have for dinner? Was it delicious? We're um, taking some of the pulled pork that we made yesterday. And um, we're making some pulled pork nachos. Very excited. I misread this as Skull Kid escaped. Oh no, that would be terrible. That would be terrible. We had fries. Ooh, yummy. I love French fries. They're the best. Okay, let's do a save state. Okay, try setting a new record again today, young Link. I'll play. Okay. All right then, use this Deku flower and have fun. If the time takes you to all rupees is faster than the current record, you'll get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down just once, it's over. The best time for today's game is 1.15. Get all the rupees faster than that. Okay, burrow into the Deku Flower. The game begins the moment you jump out. Okay, so instead of up and down, today they're back and forth. So that's great. It's very hard. I have a lot of trouble landing the very first one. So, let's see um, if I can do it. Because remember, ah, okay. Good omens, but it's still very, this is very hard. You know I ain't got no aim, and you need aim to win this. Fuck. Okay, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Uh, Link is clearly a baby Deku while, while the Deku's... Yeah, he's clearly a kid. Okay, just like we did before, because it's going to take me a bunch of tries, I think. This one's probably going to take me a ton of tries. Um, we're going to play some mu more music from the 2000s, so we'll, we'll start back on the... Oops, I did it again. Um, for you guys on Twitch, because you're probably going to watch this a bunch of times. Okay, here we go.
Oh, baby, baby, oops, you think I'm in love. Got him sent from above. I'm not that innocent. When I practiced this a couple of weeks ago, seven tries. Seven tries. I guess that practicing paid off. Okay, anyways. I swear to God, this is harder than I'm making it look right now. You are second out of sync with the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, because of stream delay. Because <laughs> of stream delay, I guess that would be right. Um, okay. Amazing. It's a new record. Take this. Okay, so we get another 50 rupees. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Purple rupee. Come again, young Link. Okay, so we can do it one more time on the third day. I swear to God. I swear to God. Is it this game is hard? Okay, this little the little Deku scrub game, it's hard. It's not easy, like I made it look. When I was seven times when I was practicing, I was getting so mad at myself. So mad. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. Um, it's time to go to the observatory. Okay, so he told us the secret hideout is at the observatory, and that the man at the observatory is the only one that wants to talk to kiddos. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way. It's the other way. He's the only one that wants to talk to kiddos. So we're going to go and talk to that man because everyone's been kind of like rude to us so far, except for the banker and the actually the other Deku scrubs in town. Okay. Um, oh, before we do that, actually, there's one thing. <coughs> okay. Wait a second, I want to show a cutscene that we didn't actually trigger. I meant to trigger when we were here before, but we didn't trigger it. Wait, hang on. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Okay. I've already sold all of my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here, Deku Flower included. Okay, I don't have a Moon's Tear. So, I don't, no, I don't have one. You're a Deku Scrub, so you know just how convenient a Deku Flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another Deku scrub. The early scrub gets the nut. Okay, well, Link wants the nut. So, yep. Hey, welcome in, spirit buddy. Oh, I love that emote. How cute, how cute. Okay, so time to go to the observatory. Um, There's this one other bomber guy. He was not part of the chase, but he's here. He's here. Um, happy Sunday. Yes, I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful, uh, relaxing Sunday spirit. Um, I certainly am. I love this game. This is one of my favorite uh, games. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Okay, so we have to give him our code. So we have five, three, two, four, one. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you're a member, right? Okay. Here you go. Yeah, Majora's Mask is so, so good. Spirit, what is your favorite um, Zelda game? Oh, Koneko, you were eating when I asked before. What's your favorite Zelda game? There's a lot of cool stuff at the Telescope Guys place. Oh, yeah. And um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice forever. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, in my opinion, Majora's Mask has the best story of any Zelda game ever. <coughs> All right, so down here, there's water. We can hop across and we've got these fancy little platforms. So we're just gonna hop, 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 hop. Now I walk around, you can see up here, see his little leggies. There's like a sculpture up there and you hear the, the enemy music. I just walk around him. I like never kill him, I just walk around him, but you can kill him if you want to. Okay, here we have another big balloon to pop. We already popped one. Now, if you're out of magic, you can get these pots right here. And they all have magic in them, but we don't need them. All Tattle's gonna do is tell us to shoot the balloon. So that's what we're gonna do that anyway, we already know. Rule of Windbaker is different aesthetically 
Yes, I remember Wind Waker's hate when it came out because people wanted that realistic look. And, uh, but the Wind Waker is actually a good game. I haven't played a, a lot of Zelda games, only Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Majora's Mask for the story, Phantom Hourglass for the concept, though it's weird lore that gets retconned later, Breath of the Wild for the aesthetic. Okay, I meant to tell you guys something. Oh, here's another Scarecrow. So we saw this, we already talked to the Scarecrow before. The Scarecrow just says the exact same thing. Um, it's, it's the same guy. He's just in two different locations. Oh my God, what do you want, Tattle? I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have two days left. I know. I'm currently playing Link to the Past for the first time. Oh, I've never beat Link to the Past, but that is a good one. I've seen plenty, plenty of playthroughs of it. I, wait, before we talk to the obs um, observatory guy, I have to tell you. I don't like Breath of the Wild. Sorry. I really hate the uh, mechanic of the weapons breaking, and I think the ending's kind of anticlimactic. Maybe Tears of the Kingdom will fix it, and I'll think that it, Breath of the Wild has an amazing story, and so I'll start liking it, but because I'm so interested in the story of games and the characters and things, Breath of the Wild is like, I mean, there's a couple characters that I really like. Like, I really like the, um, the one dude uh, that you do the thing with um, in the Zora area, and I like the one, the bird guy, but like overall, it's not my favorite Zelda. It's a good game, it's just, but it's like, compared to other Zelda games, it ain't it. Not my cup of tea. Yeah, I like, I, I recognize objectively what's good about it, but it's not my kind of Zelda. Oh, well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bomber Gang? Mm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. Who could that be? Could it be another victim of Skull Kid? Oh, <laughs> That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. So yes, we're going to gaze into this telescope. I like Breath of the Wild aesthetically and in concept, but I think it suffers from I introduce new things. Curse at Orkney Town of Fanta. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, but every Zelda game kind of is like that. So you can see him up here. You can see Skull Kid up here, and if you zoom in, you get a little scene. <coughs> He's looking up at the moon. What's this? Oh, the moon is crying. It's not angry, it's sad. Its face is like that because it's sad. Well, Majora, get over here. Get over here and, and maybe I will. Well, did you find that troublemaker and that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon steer has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock tower, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. Okay, so the eve of the carnival, carnival we can get up there. It is, the moon is in a lot of pain. The moon's in a lot of pain. It's been wrenched out of its um, happy place and, uh, and placed into uh, a world that it doesn't know, much closer to... Um, to what it used to just, you know, visually look at. You got the moon's tear. Okay, remember the uh, business scrub said he wanted a moon's tear for his wifey. He wants a, a gift, a gift for his wifey. So let's go grant that wish. The people of Termina, all of them that we've talked to so far, have either been direct victims of Skull Kid or are victims of their the moon falling. Okay, so the postman, he sees the moon falling, but he cannot stop doing his route. He has to do his schedule. Um, the the bomber's goal is to help people and make them happy. Oh, what you got, Tattle? Don't you remember the Deku scrub who wanted the moon's tear? Don't tell me you forgot. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have two days left. Girl, please. I just was telling the people that. I do not need you to tell them. Um... The mayor is in dire straits trying to figure out if he should evacuate everyone or not. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's just like, everyone is in some kind of pain. The great fairy literally had her body destroyed. Such an attention hog, right? That's why she has the poly voice. <laughs> okay, there's a heart piece up there, which you see when you come from this direction. Stop it, doggy. 
If you have the moon's tear, I must get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. That's a good deal. Okay, so we hit start and we can put the moon's tear on the C button. Okay, and we can give it to him. Ah, that stone, you must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here, Deku flower included, yes? We got the title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Okay, so he's giving you a hint. This is the beginning of the Majora's Mask trading quest. Trading quests exist in lots and lots of Zelda games. This one is no different. I used to not know how to pronounce Tattle and that led me to misreading Tall many times until I figured out it was supposed to be Tattle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Spirit, you got a lot of amazing emotes. I love that dolphin. He's spinning, spinning. We, we're gonna jump. Whee! Okay. So now we can get the first piece of heart of the game. We got a piece of heart. Collect four to do a container. Yes. Okay, there's a lot of pieces of heart in this game. They're really fun. Um, yep. <clears throat> so now we need the third day to come around so that we can do the Deku Scrub Playground for the third day. So we're going to go and get some more rupees until then. You go the dolphin, and yes, I support a few streamers. That's amazing. I love that. I love that. Oh, okay. So let's get some rupees. Let's get some rupees. I'm going to try to get 99 and deposit them again. We're almost at 99. Doing the Deku Scrub Playground on these first three days nets you 100 rupees, which is really, really good. It also gives you a lot of practice with um, Link jumping in and out of the flowers, which will be useful later. Okay. This game is very good at teaching you um, in a low stakes area um, how to do something that's going to be important for a high stakes area later. And this is one of the ways it does it. Now, do I actually recommend on your first three day cycle in the game, in this part, to try to do all three days and beat the Deku playground? No, I don't because it's hard as fuck. If you're not, um, not played this game a lot, if you're not very good at it, it's going to be very, very challenging for you and very, very frustrating. Now, in some ways, this is kind of cool because Link, I'm sure, is very frustrated being it stuck as a Deku. So you can feel some of his frustration. But it might not be the best thing to do. Oh no, I jacked up the graphics by changing scenes while it was doing that. Um, so yeah. For people that are not very experienced in this game, I do not actually recommend doing their first three days the way I'm doing it. I recommend just like talking to everyone, absorbing the information. You can still do all the other stuff that I'm doing. I just wouldn't recommend doing the um, Deku playground. Okay, let's do, let's go deposit these rupees. Um, yes, okay. So you notice how fast the music got? It's the final day, so it's scary. Did those banners on those boxes letters say something that looked like SOS? Maybe. I don't, I didn't see it, but we can go back and look. Koneko, where was it? Sorry, because I was explaining things. I wasn't reading chat while I was talking. Is this your playthrough on Twitch? I guess not, if you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's not my first playthrough. I, I mean, I played this game when it was released, um, and I played it many times after. <coughs> okay, so we're going to deposit our 99 rupees, because we got 99 rupees and we don't want one. The stacked boxes by the clock tower. Uh, I don't know. We can go back and look at them. Okay, so we're at 198. Remember that um, the banker said that we need 200. So we only need two more rupees to get what they were promising us. What's up? <gasps> Nachos. Okay. Oh, you made some for me. <gasps> you guys. Wait, let's pause. Put no toppings on my nachos, you guys. It's just pork. It's just pork. 
And this, this is a whole bag of chips. Yeah, this is, and you, oh, and you didn't even heat, this is just for it. Y'all, y'all, he just put all the chips on one big old plate and then put cold pork on top of it. And I didn't know until he set it down and I actually looked at it. <laughs> okay, the stacked box is by the clock tower. Let's go look. Let's go look. Uh, it does kind of look like SOS, doesn't it? But no, they're just symbols. They're just symbols. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited for those nachos. I was so excited and I thought he had, he had made them. Anyways, did this game traumatize you? It seems to have that effect on many people who grew up with this game. Fuck yes. Um, this game traumatized me. Absolutely. Um, it makes you feel frustrated. Because as a kid, like, I didn't know time management. Like, the f I didn't know. I didn't know nothing about nothing. Um, it was very frustrating. But I am very persistent. So long as it doesn't make me aim, which this game doesn't have nearly as much stuff that makes you aim, then I will beat it. And I just took my time and was slow about it, you know, as a kid. And I eventually beat it, like, for a long time. But yes. I read the manga when I was already familiar with the game. I mean, it still traumatized me. Yes, it's very traumatic. This game is very traumatic. Okay, one more spinning. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning. <clears throat> okay, so we got the rupees. Now, we're gonna go do the Deku Playground day three. Come here. Oh my God, get in the flower. There. Get in the flower, we're going to the playground. Oh my god, Tattle. Give me peace. Give me peace. Okay. Now they move back and forth and up and down, as you can see in the background there. So uh, so let's see how this goes. We're going to save state again. Good luck, young Link. Now you can try for three stage straight days of new records. <laughs> yes, we'll play. All right, then. Use this Deku flower and have fun. All right. If the time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you'll get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down below just once, it's over. The best time for today is 1.16. Get all the rupees faster than that. Okay, burrow into the Deku flower, and the game begins the moment you jump out. <laughs> Thanks, Koneko. Okay, here we go. Oh, and they're moving the opposite. Oh, what's the time I'm supposed to jump out? We got this. Ah, bitch. Okay. <clears throat> A little too late. Load state. <clears throat> See if this one takes me a ton of tries. Okay, let's get the music going. Uh, we'll play the next uh, the next 2000 song on, on the list. Here we go. Ah, 
Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I got my real pictures now. We'll, we'll eat them as a reward after we eat the 30 days of the Here we go. Go forget the pictures. Amazing. Pork and toast. These are really good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, it started shuffling. Huh. Okay. There's more popular songs at the top. I turn off the shuffle. Anyways, okay. Amazing! A new record and for three days straight. Wow! We've been had! Well, you're obviously a pro and pros can't play here. Take this and don't come back. We got a piece of heart! You've collected two heart pieces so far. Collect two more. Okay. There you go. We did it. <laughs> they do, they do. The emotes sync up is so cute. Okay, such a wonderful, youthful face, but we were really dealing with a fierce competitor. Okay, so now you win. Oh, it's Link Hyde! <laughs> so now they're scared of me. Now they're scared of me. So that's the Deku Scrub Playground. I do not recommend doing it on the first three days like I did, but um, you can. You get a piece of heart. Oh my gosh. Mm, the nachos are good. Okay. All right. So let's go and um, deposit these rest of these rupees so we can do the 300. Or sorry, the 200. Now, if you didn't do what I did and did the Deku Scrub Playground the first three days, like if you don't do that, then you're probably not going to have enough rupees to get the 200 for the adult's wallet. But don't worry, you can do on the second cycle. There's lots of um, better ways to get rupees towards the beginning of the game. You can do that. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. What's this? You need something? Okay, we're going to deposit. Okay, so we have 16. 16. Hello, Lands of Masters, and thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I'm asking everybody today, since this is the first episode of our Majora's Mask playthrough, what is your favorite Zelda game? Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. We got the adult wallet. So now we can hold up to 200 rupees instead of 99. See, doesn't it hold more than your old one? Fill it up and bring it in all in deposit. Okay. So... Um, we have not showed off too much 
yet of um, East Clocktown. So let's do it. Breath of the Wild, yours. Um, I would say this one has the best story, Majora's Mask. And I really love um, the Twilight Princess. I mean, literally just because I love Midna and that you get to turn into a wolf. Midna is the best companion ever. I actually don't like Breath of the Wild. I know it's like the popular one right now and there's a lot of good stuff about it, but I don't like it. I don't like that the weapons um, degrade and I don't like um, <clears throat> the ending. So this one, I would say Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time. Those are probably like my favorite ones. Yeah, he'll tell you the code again. This right here is the shooting gallery. This is this area of Clock Town, the town shooting gallery. Oh my god, these nachos are so good, you guys. Oh, I thought you were a customer. But I see you can't expect customers on a day like this. Don't be hanging around here. Go home. All right. TP was my first. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. I love Twilight Princess. Um, it was like everybody was so mad about Wind Waker being like cell shaded and bright. Um, this is a treasure chest shop. This is another mini game that you can play. Oh, what a cute little customer. So do you want to play? Um, no, we're not going to play right now. Oh, really? Too bad. Come again. Depending on what um, form you're in, she will do different um, prices and prizes. Prices and prizes. This right here is the stock pot in. This is quite different on the third day, so we're going to have to explore it on another day too. I'm sorry, we're going to be taking refuge in the evening like the others. You should run too. It seems it's going to fall tomorrow morning. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Yes, that's right. If you come down here, you will see this little kitchen area and cleaning area. In here. This old woman right here. Come on, can you talk to her? There we go. Oh, tortoise, are you ready? It's been a long time since we've had a picnic at Romani Ranch, hasn't it? Okay, so she's she's old and um, a little bit senile, but that's okay. We love her. Dawn, night of the final day. There's also an upstairs here with a couple rooms. If you come in here on the last day, there's more rupees in here. We're not going to worry about depositing them, but just to show you. 100 rupees that you can get on that last day. And um, a mysterious mannequin. Paddle, what? Remember, you're a Deku, so why don't you try using this Deku flower? Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have half a day left. My god, girl. <clears throat> there's a couple other rooms, too. Sneaking into other people's rooms, you're the worst. And then there's nobody in here anymore. Just some bugs and some underpants. I love how the Deku Link jumps up like that to do the doorknob. So yeah, we're gonna have to explore this a little bit later in the game. That's what you see on the final day. Now you can use this Deku flower here to jump up, but again, I'm gonna show that off later. Um, oh, we already walked in here. Over here, this is, <clears throat> this is another mini game, the Honey and Darling Shop. It's a mini game involving bombs. Um, Honey and Darling are not here, but, uh, but we'll be worried about that mini game later. So they fled. Honey and Darling have fled. So yeah, you notice that on the daytime, on the third day, the music gets very fast. Karen is my number one and cutie wasabi. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Jane. How are you doing, friend? How are you doing? What's up? <laughs> um, so yeah, but now there's no music. Okay, so we went from frantic, panicked music to no music, and like, the shit's empty. Like literally in this, remember there was like three or four like builder guys. Now there's only this guy. Hey Deku kid, you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up there? Sorry, my apprentice is panicked and ran away. This is all we get for the festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get back up to the clock tower entrance. 
I apologize for all this. I wish I could scare the moon away. Yeah, but dude, you can't, and you were wrong. You were wrong. Okay, actually, let's go really super quickly deposit those rupees. And then we're gonna wait for the clock tower to open at midnight. Jane, have you ever played a Zelda game? If so, what is your favorite Zelda game? I'm asking everybody today, since this is our first beginning of Majora's Mask. We're gonna deposit these. You always want to deposit your rupees. You don't want to hold on to them. No, but I think all Zelda fans are cool people. Ah, oh, thanks. I, li I like the Zelda series. I think it's pr pr some pretty good games in that series. Well, Jane, I think you are going to really, really like Majora's Mask um, because it's sad and scary. Okay, let's get back in the flower and we're going to go up here. See that moon? That moon's going to crash. Okay. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Okay, so we're just going to wait. We're going to wait till midnight. I'm going to eat my nachos while we do that. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'm going to need a fork to help eat these nachos. Levi really piled them up. Hang on, I'm gonna go get a fork. I'll be right back. Hey, I made it. <clears throat> That's not possible. I love nachos. Do you guys love nachos? Whenever I go to like Moe's or anything like that, I always get the nachos or I'll get a salad with the chips on the side. It's midnight. Okay, so we now only have six hours left until the moon falls. But the clock tower is open. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. So we can go up. Sis. Ah, Tail, we've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. <clears throat> no, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid. Do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. And here comes the moon. Here comes the moon. Okay, so we are gonna use the one power we have as a Deku, and that is Snot Bubbles. That's it. That's the only power. Luckily, Majora is not immune, or Skull Kid is not immune to Snot Bubbles. Okay, and he drops our ocarina. Let's go get it. You got the ocarina! Yes, 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 we can play music now. <clears throat> Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Yes. 
Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget these days we spent together in Hyrule, and I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. Okay, so Zelda gave us the Ocarina of Time. Yeah, this is the very beginning. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. And we learn the Song of Time. You remembered the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is the song of memories of Princess Zelda. Oh, really? The Japanese version sounds creepier. I feel like they must have toned down the English version. That just makes sense. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, um, I didn't read the rest because I was too fast. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to talk about the saves in just a moment. Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us! Somebody! Anybody! Goddess of time, help us please! We need more time! Okay, so... It's not bubbles. We already did that, so let's let's play the ocarina. The one other thing we, d we can do. <clears throat> huh? When did you get that instrument? Okay, so... Uh, when we're a Deku... It's um, not uh, it's not the ocarina. It's this crazy thing. All right. Oh shoot! I played it wrong. <laughs> there we go. My bad. That was the backwards one that the the guy told us about. Yes. So save and return to the dawn of the first day. This is the only way to actually save in this game. And we're gonna lose all of our um, consumables. So those Deku nuts we had, those are gone. If we had not deposited our rubies, we would also lose our rubies. All right, so we go through all of this again with the Skull Kid. With the Happy Mask Salesman. We're back to Dawn of the First Day. Yeah, uh, money is not bound by the laws of time, apparently. <laughs> well, what just happened? Everything has... Started over. Well, what are you anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument. Wait, that's it. Your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did that com Did you completely forget that or what? No, girl, I didn't forget it. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, yeah, everything's reset. Let's go uh, talk to the happy mask salesman. See if we can get our body back. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it! Then listen to me. Please play this song that I am about to perform and remember it well. Where the fuck that organ came from, we will never know. And he's only playing three notes on it. Hearts. 
Oh, Koneko, you should play your ocarina again and record a sound of it. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Deku. Bye. <gasps> we got our body back! And our Deku form is now inside of a mask. Relief. This is the melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah oh, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape that you just wore. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Okay, you got the mask. We got the Deku mask. Yeah. So we can use that now. <coughs> now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So, please give me what you promised me. So, um, about that. Don't tell me. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? What have you done to me? If I, you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. The mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the trouble caused by Majora's mask were so great. The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now the imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I am begging you, I am begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths, believe! So I just want to point out, from the mask salesman's perspective, we walked out of that tower, and we walked immediately back in, like, instantly. Now remember, he also knows we're the hero of time, so, like, he knows some shenanigans are going on. So, when you travel back to the beginning, you lose your consumables, but you keep your key items. So we keep the ocarina, we have this mask, now we keep it. We keep our shield and sword, and we learn, we keep the songs and the heart pieces, okay? So... What we are going to do now is I'm going to save state. <clears throat> and next time on Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will do the second round of the three day cycle. So that will be next week on Sunday from starting at noon to two Eastern. And of course, I will be posting the VODs on my YouTube channel as well. So you can see those during the week at some point. I will make sure that that gets posted that week. So we're going to say goodbye to YouTube, everybody. So uh, YouTubers, thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.